I you know, give the dancers material and then have them starting with material, then I'll come in and I'll interrupt or I'll shift and we will act as if we're performing in real time. So we decided we would put that on stage. Um, so that, you know, there's an elegant combination of some things which are very premeditated and some things which really happened in the moment. Coco does bar on Luke. <laughs> the bar retaliates. I go in there, I'm directing it as, as, as a coach, which was a really exciting process for us as a company, and it really gives the audience a, a very tangible sense of being inside a process, um, but one which is artistically crafted as a work. Now, please turn blue. It's funny because I'm totally myself because it's so much improvisation and it's so much just making decisions in the moment, but there's something about the structure and the costuming and the theatricality of it that allows me to push it beyond sort of maybe what I would do in just a studio setting. Dorian, please pause. Dorian, please create a shape on the ground. Jen, I would like for you to do the phrase without Dorian, but feel her essence in it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like, yeah, we were so on, we really felt each other, we were all just, our hair was standing up, or I was getting goosebumps from what other people were doing, or it doesn't have to be about us and how we feel, it's just, yeah. I think everything in our culture is so airbrushed in that way, and so perfected, and since we're such a film predominant society, that sense that you get take after take after take to make things perfect, and then it's always all you see is the perfection, to not, I think we get caught up in that because we want rock to be on, we want to feel like it's like, yeah, we nailed it, or all my balances, I didn't fall out of anything, but that's what's so beautiful and what Chris always tries to get us to do naturally anyway is to not airbrush those tendencies or those failures so that makes us human and it's beautiful. Sometimes in a totally non-literal way, I feel like, yes, I did it, I turned blue, I found that metaphor, and sometimes I don't, and it's interesting because that sort of is a metaphor for what we're trying to do with dance, like you're trying to find these abstract visual metaphors for concrete things that sometimes it just lands and it just makes sense even though it doesn't, and that moment is really, I think, about that, that struggle for me.